seat. We're going to get started in like 20 seconds. All right, it is 10.02 and the site selection business meeting will be in order. Hi, everybody. Hi. Nice hat, huh? Um, <laughs> I'm Jared Dashoff. I'm your presiding officer. Uh, to my right is Tim Illingworth. Our deputy presiding officer to his right is Lisa Hertel, our timekeeper. To my left is my one line. our secretary, Linda Deneroff. To her left, uh, running our slide deck and making me have a brain is our parliamentarian, Don Eastlake. If you only had a brain. <laughs> In the back is our video crew, Lisa Hayes, our chief videographer, and her assistant, Kevin Stanley. And roaming about the room are our sergeants at arms, Colette Fazer, Mr. Shirt, and Warren Buff. Uh, a couple of announcements. Thanks to SFSFC for purchasing the internet that allows us to upload the videos. And thanks to Wizards Tower for allowing us to purchase the equipment to make high res videos. Um, thanks to Detcont One for funding the ASL interpretation, which is now up on this side of the room. Um, thanks to Judy Bemis for today's coffee setup, which is in the back of the room. Tomorrow's coffee setup has been ordered, but the fund is just a wee bit short. So if you're interested in donating to tomorrow's coffee fund, please see Kate Secor, not in the middle of the meeting, but at one of the recesses. Um, and if you are coming to the microphone, please speak into the microphone, state your name, and then when you're done speaking, give your name, if you think it's hard to spell, to the secretary. We would really appreciate the minutes actually having your real name in there. Um, today's special order of business is the site selection results for the 2018 Worldcon and the 2017 NASFIC. Um, the 2019 bidders are allowed question time, but they have offered to dispense with their question time after uh, the site selection results so that we can move along a little quicker. However, yes, thanks to them. Um, the 2017 Worldcon question time is constitutionally protected. Uh, Worldcon 75 has offered to dispense with their question time. Uh, I'm just going to ask if there is any objection to suspending the rules and dispensing with their question time. Seeing none, we are going to dispense with that. So we will move on to site selection results. And I will recognize Mr. Lee to give a presentation on the 2018 Worldcon results. Hi, my name is Michael Lee. I am the site uh, selection administrator for this year. Kate Secor has been my deputy. Thanks to the bid committees for New Orleans, San Jose, San Juan, and Valley Forge for their participation in this year's Worldcon and NASFIC site selection. I want to thank some of the specific volunteers. Thanks to Mark Lineman for his help in leading the NASFIC site selection. Thanks to Pat Malloy, Leah Smith, Joni Dashoff, Mary Kay Kerr, Alan Stewart, Gareth Cavanaugh, Rick Kowalczyk, Lee Farr, Sharon Sparsky, and every other volunteer part of this convention that has helped make site selection move, move thoroughly. Special thanks to Tammy Coxon as our division head, and I have to personally thank Kate Secor, without whose help, I would have forgotten many more people and many more things than I actually did. For the sake of time, I won't read the full breakdown. It'll be available in newsletter and online and, and other places. Um, but but for, to, get to, the, to get to the numbers, for the 76th World Science Fiction Convention in 2018, we had 1,321 valid votes. That meant there were 651 needed to win. New Orleans had 594 votes. San Jose had 675 votes, making them the winner of the 2018 Worldcon. I will now recognize the bid chair of the San Jose bid, Mr. Trembley. Would you like to come up and 
give a presentation. You'd like me to ask for a motion to thank the tellers and dispense with the ballots? To, to destroy the ballots. Destroy the ballots? Uh, yeah, I forgot that little bit. Um, <laughs> is, is there a sec so I heard the motion, second. Is there any objection to thanking the tellers, making the results of the 2018 Worldcon selection final, and disposing of the ballots? Seeing none, it is so ordered. Mr. Lee, please dispose of the ballots. Can, can we enlarge the screen? Somewhat. It's going to go in a way in a second anyway. So that's, that's about as big as I, I mean, this is about as big as I can make it, about as big as I can make it without losing some of the data. I mean, do you want to just, okay. All right, Mr. Trembley. People should bring opera glasses to the business meeting. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Andy Trembley, a bid chair for Billings in 2018, and I saw we got two votes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in y'all. I had to hoax my own race. Uh, anyway, now I'm Andy Trembley, the uh, chair of the San Jose in 2018 committee. I want to uh, thank Debbie Chowdhury and uh, Rebecca Smith, who were uh, my lovely and talented and honorable opponents for the great race they organized. And I'm actually going to turn the podium over to our convention chair, Kevin Roach, because this isn't my job anymore. <laughs> I'm short. There we go. Good morning. I also want to thank the New Orleans bid for, I am Kevin Roach. If you don't know that, you haven't been paying attention because I'm everywhere. I'm almost as popular as cat videos, apparently. Um, it's the hair. Everyone wants pictures of the hair. Um, I'm thrilled and terrified at our success, and I too, what? My husband keeps prompting me to do what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I want to thank Raymond and Mike and the entire New Orleans bid committee for a wonderful and friendly campaign. Um, as we promised to do with them, I already know that many of the people on, involved in the New Orleans campaign will be working on our Worldcon, and I welcome them. Uh, Worldcon is a team effort, and I'm really glad that we had two good teams competing. I do not have a long presentation, because I can't wear this suit for very long. <laughs> is there a clicker? Or do, you just, do I just tell you? All right. <laughs> if we could have the first slide. We will officially be Worldcon 76 in San Jose. <laughs> to those of you who've heard me talk about the importance of branding Worldcon as something that can, people can recognize from year to year, this will probably not surprise you. Our website is worldcon76.org. It should be going live right now. I'm sure we have missed some typos or bid mentions along the way. If you find one today and come to our table, we'll give you a t-shirt. <laughs> one of the new t-shirts for Worldcon 76. I'm told that our webmaster who just got up is pushing it live right now. Our reg system is also live. If you pre-supported with us, we will contact you with a link that lets you upgrade automatically. If you supported at uh, the friend of bid or higher level, you are, uh, and you voted, you are automatically an attending member. I will get back to rates in a moment. I would like to tell you about some of our guests. First of all, as is traditional with SFSFC conventions, we have a couple of non-corporeal guests of honor. First is our host of honor, Bob Wilkins, who for decades hosted late night, high class, 
horror and science fiction movie shows on local television, as well as primetime and afternoon shows. So uh, two generations of children were exposed to science fiction on television thanks to Bob Wilkins. In addition, we have Ghost of Honor, Edgar Panboy, a seminal writer who has deserved recognition for a while. Our fan guests of honor, who I believe are in the room, are Pierre and Sandy Pettinger, I can't. who have been um, active in many kinds of fan activity, including APAs, costuming, con running, uh, uh, fanzines. Uh, yes, they are out there. They've also done, uh, Pierre has done amazing work with the International Costume Archives. Our first professional guest of honor is author Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. Now, we do, will have more professional guests of honor, but their agents didn't want to talk to us till we were seated. However, we have one more I want to introduce to you. Our final professional guest of honor, Spider Robinson. And uh, I was thrilled. Um, we had to uh, be persuasive, but we convinced him that it was uh, an honor that was overdue and deserved. And I'm really glad that we get to uh, honor Spider at our Worldcon. I would like to bring up a few members of the team who you will all be dealing with. Cindy Scott, would you come up for a moment? Cindy has been our treasurer for the bid and will be the treasurer for Worldcon 76. Uh, she helps me. She helps me dot the I's and cross the T's, and right next to her is my executive assistant, Debbie Bretschneider. I'm not gonna bring everyone up, because like I said, I can only wear this suit for so long. Um, our last slide is our rates. Full at, um, supporting is $50, and full attending is 160. We have a PR zero, which are Lovely volunteers, Fred and Leanne are distributing right now. And we will be open for registration from 11 till 5 today and 11 till 3 tomorrow. Uh, we do ask your patience if you voted because we have paper lists we have to go through to confirm your eligibility. And that's all I have to say to you this morning. We look forward to showing you the way to San Jose. Oh, yes, there will be a victory party tonight. Are yeah. there... Are there any questions for Worldcon 76? No, Worldcon 75. I, if you want to go, Mr. Kowalczyk. So since this came up with Worldcon 75, uh, and I believe this is an access issue. Will you be charging extra for paper publications by mail? No. The default is electronic publications, and we believe that the cost savings we get from having that as a default can cover the small percentage of people who request paper. You do have to opt in to receive paper and uh, we also request. Yes, dear. I was about to say that. We do ask that you specify whether a single copy for a household is adequate or you want one for every membership at a household. But the default is electronic. You can opt in for paper. There is not an upcharge for paper with us. Are there any? Mr. Caswell, okay. please come to the microphone. I'm a pre-supporter of the bid, and I do not have internet access. How can I, how can I be contacted? I'm a pre-supporter of the bid, and I voted, and I do not have internet access. How can I determine what my discount will be? If you visit the table today, we can take care of you today. Okay. Or tomorrow. We have all of the upgrade paths built into our registration system already, and our admins are ready to handle them. We just ask your patience as we go through the eligibility lists. We, we uh, 
do, had, have noted who has opted out of electronic notification, and we'll be contacting you by mail, but obviously that will happen after this weekend. We have an upgrade path for everyone, whether you are online or not. Any other questions? Seeing none, you can go start checking paper lists. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. We do have one bit of business, Ms. Coxon. Tammy Coxon, WISFIS division head, and in that position, I present you with your future Worldcon chair ribbon. Thank you. <laughs> All right, anything else? All right, I will re-recognize Mr. Lee uh, to give a rundown of the 2017 NASVIC results. Pick up the mic. All right, for the 2017 NASVIC, there were 425 valid votes. 211 were needed to win. Valley Forge had 182 votes. San Juan had 200, 233 votes, making them the winner of the 2017 NASVIC. Yes, Ms. Secor, your point of personal privilege. Before we allow the 2017 NASPIC to speak, I would also like to thank Michael Lee for all of his hard work in making site selection go. And now we're done for the year. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting there. Wow, everybody really wants to go fast today. Um, do I have a motion to thank the tellers, declare the results final, and destroy the ballots? So moved and seconded. Is there any objection? Seeing none, the ballot shall be destroyed. And now, Mr. Vasquez, where are you? Right, right there. Would you like to give a presentation for San Juan? Buenos dias, familia. Buenos dias, senor. <laughs> if you don't know me already, I am Pablo Vasquez, and I was the chair for San Juan in 2017. <clears throat> Thankfully, and thank you to all of you voters for voting in the site selection. I'd especially like to thank, of course, Valley Forge for being such admirable competition. Uh, there's a saying in Puerto Rican boxing that when you get in the ring, prepare to dance. And uh, thank you for that very long waltz. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the folks of Site Selection uh, for all the hard work they did. Uh, it was long and arduous, but we did it. And uh, yes, uh, could you please start this slide? Oh, it's up. Okay, could you go back? <laughs> Yes, these are our guests of honors for North America on 17 in San Juan, Puerto Rico, July 6th through the 9th. Uh, we have here uh, Diana Chaviano, which is one of the best-selling science fiction and fantasy authors in Latin America. We have Tobias Buckle, who is a great author uh, from Granada and uh, is very happy to go back to the Caribbean in style. Uh, we have George Paris, famed uh, comic book artist cool. and illustrator, and a personal favorite of mine, of course. Okay. Uh, we have Brother Guy, Consul Magno. And we believe it was about time he was honored in such a way. Uh, we have also Javier Grillo Marshak from uh, Lost, uh, from his work on Lost, and also, of course, the upcoming reboot of Xena. And Middleman. Yes, and Middleman. And of course, we have uh, Paula Smith, uh, who gave us one of my favorite terms, Mary Sue, and also uh, pioneered the way in media fandom and in slash fan fiction. Actually, she did. The website is up. Uh, registration is all ready. Uh, so feel free to go on there and check it out. Our PR Zero is being handed out by all of our fine volunteers here. And uh, if you look in the back, there is already a reg form. Bring that over to the table and we'll help you out. Or if you need to, there's a mailing address you can send it to as well. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, all of my committee before we continue and I show you lovely photos of the hotel in San Juan. Uh, if 
Anyone who's in the San Juan uh, bid committee or was in the San Juan bid committee, please raise your hand, stand up, whatever you want to do to recognize yourselves. And uh, I'd like to start a round of applause as thank you for all the help and support you gave me. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, all right, here what you're seeing are photos of the uh, Sheraton Puerto Rico Hotel and Casino. Absolutely lovely, smoke-free, uh, around 600 hotel rooms, 50 plus suites. Uh, and of course we have a course fee, so I expect all of you to throw some amazing parties there. Um, we have uh, our great San Juan Grand Ballroom where the big events will be held. Uh, it's only a five minute walk from a beach. Uh, yes, you can keep going. Okay, uh, this is the infinity pool on the fourth floor, so I expect uh, some programming will happen in the, the, we have programming space actually right next to the pool and right next to the bar. So expect uh, some nice little pina colada clatches to happen there. <laughs> Uh, what you're seeing now is pictures of beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico, which uh, from what I've heard, many of you will experience for the first time ever. Uh, I hope you'll have fun. It's a world-class city, the oldest city in the United States, founded in 1509. Walled, uh, beautiful architecture. Imagine a European-style city, uh, right, as part of the United States. And uh, of course, to answer that age-old question, no, you don't need a passport to travel to Puerto Rico <laughs> if you're a United States citizen. Everyone else, of course, we welcome you. You'll have to get the appropriate visas, which are just the same as in traveling here. Uh, and we hope we can have you here. Uh, what you're seeing, of course, is more architecture and lovely stuff. Uh, could you please continue? Dancing, we hope you all take part in some fantastic nightlife that we have there. Uh, this is a common sight to see, actually, in the parks and streets of San Juan. Uh, my people are lively people. And uh, we hope you'll join us in that sort of excitement. Uh, please continue. Uh, yes, that's the famous El Moro Fort. San Juan is bookended by two giant Spanish fortresses, and we hope that you'll want to tour them and uh, see how lovely they are. That's actually also the fort my father signed up for the U.S. Army in. So, a little bit of personal history there. <laughs> lovely food. We have some plantains, some rice some other goodies there. Uh, San Juan has food options for every possible person, uh, whether you uh, prefer the traditional Islander food, whether you want to look for an Irish pub, whether you're looking for vegetarian or vegan grub, or you're just looking for a McDonald's burger, uh, <laughs> you're prone to find that in San Juan and the surrounding area. And uh, of course, for our drinkers, San Juan is the capital of rum. And uh, we hope that uh, all of my fellow drinkers out there will join me in celebrating and drinking uh, all this fine rum on the island. Uh, Casa Bacardi is there, and they sent us a whole bunch of flashlights, which uh, almost all of you stole from our table, so thank you. Um, we have El Yunque National Forest, the only rainforest in the national park system of the United States. Uh, so go backpacking through there and enjoy it. You'll find Taino, the, that's our natives there. Our Taino natives uh, left behind some fantastic art and uh, you know, their own signs of the heritage that they left for Puerto Rico. This is the Arecibo Observatory. We're all pla already planning with Brother Guy to uh, lead a tour over there. Uh, so please uh, keep in touch with our publications and of course attend San Juan and you'll see some lovely stuff. These are the fans you will be meeting on the island and they are excited to meet all of you. Uh, we want to do, a, of course, I've been mentioning a lot, a cultural interchange between our fandom and theirs. They're uh, pretty brand new to fandom, but as you can see, they're costumers, they're gamers, they have their own dealers, you know, they have masquerades. They do it in sort of neighborhood assemblies. So we would be the first major fan-run convention in Puerto Rico. And they are unbelievably excited about that. And on behalf of the island of Puerto Rico, I want to thank you all for uh, bringing this dream to them as well. And that's the end of our slide. A little happy photo of some fans that are Pokemon fans. And of course, for all you Pokemon Go players out there, yes, you can still catch them in San Juan. <laughs> Gracias, familia. And uh, thank you so much. And we hope to see you at our celebration party tonight. Are there any questions for Nor I saw Mr. McCarty rise first. Hi, I'm Dave McCarty, still. 
I'm sure this is news to nobody in this room since it's in a public document that you all had put in front of you yesterday. Um, in the closing financial statement for Shikon 7, this is, I believe, my last at convention to act as chairman. Uh, Shikon 7, as part of our closing, set aside $1,000 for whoever won the seated NASFIC bid because we know how difficult it is to budget for a NASFIC and we wanted to help. We will get that check for you later today. Thank you so much. Congrats on being done, Dave. Mr. Blob. Gary Blog, I have a question for both, seven, uh, for both the 17 NASPIC and the 18 uh, Worldcon. Uh, room parties or fan village? Room parties, absolutely. Oh. Room parties, the contracts already include non-conforming use clauses so that any noise complaints come through us, not the front desk. Yeah. Dr. Adams. Still, 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 Andrew Adams. Uh, can you just confirm who the con chair is? You didn't mention that. Oh yeah, my apologies. Uh, I was the bid chair, uh, and I'm also the con chair. <laughs> Mr. Kowalczyk. Um. So two questions. Uh, I'll ask the one of more general import probably first, although the second one might be more important. The first one is, since it is now less than a year out, when will hotel reservations be open? Uh, we plan to have them open uh, actually within the next few months. Uh, Warren, do you have anything in particular to say about that? He is our facilities uh, head, so. Yes, we haven't scheduled it yet exactly, but we will get it in the next few months for sure. Okay, and the second question is the same question about will you be charging extra for paper publications by mail? No, we will not. Uh, we, as, as well as our 2018 uh, fellow winners here, uh, we plan to have email as our default, uh, and historically very few people actually choose paper publications, but um, by having email as the default, uh, we're bound to save a bunch of money. Of course. Any other questions for North American 17? Mr. Blog, you have another question? The infinity pool area, is that going to be reserved for us only, or, or will we have to share them with the mundanes? <laughs> You'll live. No, I'm fans. Yeah, it's a public hotel pool. Uh, the only way to prevent mundanes from staying in the hotel is for all of you to fill it up. So uh, <laughs> please come to, San come to San Juan, come to North American 17, and uh, keep the mundanes down if that's a really big concern for you. Are there any other questions? What? Uh, Cliff Dunn, just since it's not on the form, I wanted to ask, conversion from supporting is $50, or is, is it another price? Conversion from uh, pre-support uh, is uh, actually $75, uh, because it was a $20 pre-support. Uh, we're hoping you save $5 off the full attending fee. And also, uh, uh, there is no conversion needed if you friended, uh, you were at the friend level or the islander level, you are already a full attending member if you voted in site selection. And if, and it, it, okay. Any other questions? Seeing none, Miss. Yes, Miss Schechter. I would like, I would like to thank you. Oh. Yeah, good. I would like to take a moment to thank, oh, sorry, Isabel Schechter. I would like to take a moment to thank our fearless leader and bid chair and uh, future con chair, Pablo. Uh, for uniting the bid team into a familia. He was very clear that we were not a bid committee, we were a familia, and he made very clear that we would be familia with uh, the fans on the island. And so I just want to thank him uh, on behalf of the committee, uh, on, the on behalf of the familia for everything he has done. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, Ms. Coxon, do you have some items for? I do. Uh, Tammy Coxon, Wispus Division Head. I can't top a San Juan flag cape, but I do have a first na a future NASVIC chair ribbon for Pablo. <laughs> It's crossed out. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and, and now as my uh, putting on a different hat, I was the chair of the previous NASFIC, which was DETCOM 1 in Detroit, Michigan in 2014. And I'm very pleased to announce that we also set aside some money and we have $6,000 in pass along funds. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. All right, I think that concludes our site selection bit. I know that we now have um, a committee report from the Mark Protection Committee, which ties, I, I just want to get through this little bit of the Mark Protection because I want to have the Worldcon and NASVIC winners in the room. So Mr. Stanley, while they're in the room, could you? All right, give me one second. <laughs> 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 when the secretary is ready, I'm I will ready. continue. You're good. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would first like to yield to uh, Sasquan and Miss Sally Worley, who I believe has a presentation to make that is relevant to the uh, Worldcon bidders here. Thank you. I was on her committee, too, you know. So. <laughs> 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 You're going to have to. <laughs> I have the same problem. <laughs> yeah, we're about the same height. Um, Could course, you get a little closer to the microphone? Step in. All right, that's right. I have to yep. eat it. Um, as you know, our world cons always have pass along funds. Last year, we put um, a $25,000 a $25, pass along check in escrow with uh, Midwest Con. Mid-American, what am I saying? For the San Jose bid, whoever won for 76, 77. Anyway, but after that was uh, done, we found we had more money that needed to be passed along. So, um, Kevin, since you're the chair, it's not a huge amount. It's an extra $3,395 in addition to the $25,000 check that is coming to you now. So, good luck. Have a great time. And if anybody is here from Helsinki, we also have an additional check for Helsinki. <laughs> okay, I knew somebody would pop up to get, get their hands on some money. <laughs> Because we gave them a, a $25,000 check last year, so here's an extra $3,395 that we have found to give to you. So thanks. <laughs> and we'll see you in Helsinki. We also have um, had enough people here from our SWAC Board of Directors, who was um, our umbrella organization, that we have decided also to join you for Puerto Rico with a $1,000 pass along fund. So thank you, everyone. All right, Mr. Stanley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I am Kevin Stanley. I am chairman of the Wispus Mark Protection Committee. And I am here to ask the, to remind the two newly seated Wispus conventions that they have to appoint somebody to the Wispus Mark Protection Committee. I understand that uh, Joni Dashoff has accepted for, on behalf of San Jose, uh, yeah, I'm already a member of the MPC, you so. uh, but Puerto Rico also needs to appoint somebody. The, I didn't get the memo yet. Talk to me after the meeting. The uh, Mark Protection Committee will meet in this room following the final adjournment of tomorrow's meeting. That will be here. Uh, yeah, we might be here a while. We know that. So that was the first half of our announcement that affects the, the conventions. Thank you. I do have a supplemental announcement that I think is relevant to this organization at this time. Yesterday afternoon, uh, our UK solicitors contacted the Mark Protection Committee and informed us that the European Union Intellectual Property Agency has certified and completed our registration of the service mark in the European Union of 
Hugo Award. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. I'd like to stand in recess for two minutes uh, so that those who were here for site selection can file out. Um, I will note that uh, it's only two minutes, so if you're staying, please stay. We're in recess.